Well, today we are in Calamine some more corn. So I guess tonight I'm gonna upload the first video of harvest. And then after that I will and because of that I guess I'm taking video today. So we're still going on that well actually that one field that we're in before is done. So we're just working on to the added all, to the part that we added onto it this year. It was a different field last year, so we just it wasn't a very big field, so we just added on. Now we got some bigger fields. So, but anyway, this bin is almost full. I'll go up here and show you guys what this looks like here. Hopefully, doing it without falling. Okay. So that's how much is left in the bin. Ain't very much room left in there. So we we got that to do. And then we'll be switching over to that bin. We got a little bit of cleaning out left to do in that one. So hang on. But the boss is out. Can go get he's running home quick. Get the dog. So I'm gonna go put these wagons out there. The other two wagons are already out there. So let's go put these out here. It's a little cold. Not too bad, but it's still a little cold. But yeah, so today's my birthday. So that's a fun day when you get to go to work on your birthday. Thought about skipping school today, but I had a test to do, so. Probably shouldn't have done that. So yeah, but let this thing warm up a little bit, and I gotta fuel up the combine, get down to quarter tank, and then tonight I'm gonna be running a little bit later. But and it figures that the day I'm gonna be shooting a video is the day I leave my AirPods to school. So yeah, tomorrow I'll figure out those. But otherwise, that's about it. So we got the 95 on the auger here's the 185 so but that does not need to be in the cake in front but yeah so let's get moving confusing how I'm gonna do this because there's terraces that go that way and then it switches the roads going that way so it's kind of I don't know it's kind of hard to decide where I want to put these I think I'm gonna put them right down here but I gotta get them turned around first because they go that way for a while and then it'll switch up and go that way because you can see a terrace right here so I think I'm just going to bring them down. I'm not going to park them here. I think I'm going to park them down there, but not in the field. I'll park them in the waterway. That way it's out of the way. I don't know. You don't want them too far. I might park them right here, actually. I don't know. It was all the way down to here. 
I have no clue where it starts. I have no idea. Because it, I didn't plant it. So, if it goes to here, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Alright, I decided because the rolls are finally going this way, I'm just going to park from here. So. Peace out. Huh. Oh, the track is moving. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Alrighty. Well, let's go back. Get back to the yard. Well, we're going now. Um, we came back from supper, so we're just gonna pick up the grain cart. It's got about 600 out of 900 bushel in it. So I'm just gonna take this to the West Farm. So, yeah. Like I said, we're bringing it to the West Farm. So, yeah. But all right, this 100 acres or 113 acres, I guess is completely done. Nothing left in that. So now we're over at the 50, over at the West Farm doing that. I'm not sure how much we got done today. My boss moved over there at about 3 o'clock today. So yeah, but it's kind of nice everything being within a mile. It makes things a lot easier. So, but yeah. Alright. That's about it for now. So, but I guess if anyone wants to watch wants to see more bean harvest you're gonna have to watch last year's bean harvest because odds are I'm not really gonna be in the grain cart or in the combine for the beans at all this year so yeah but and last year really wasn't much different just different fields obviously so because it's the same equipment last year as this year I got one video from last year on it I got one video of corn last year. And I think I, can, I just kind of stopped taking videos, basically. So. But yeah. So I'm just kind of cruising along. Getting a little bit. So. Alright, now we're in the 46. Let's see if this thing starts. That's the one good thing, but also one bad thing, because now if I leave this cab, I'm going to die for smoke inhalation. So, <laughs> but yeah, so I'll let this thing warm up a little bit here, and then we'll back this cart out. This one's empty. We were using this for corn before. So we'll back this out, and yeah, so we got the... Uh, Swathing head over there for wheat. I don't know why that wagon's there, but whatever. So we got two swathers in here, and those are parked. 1066 back there. I think such a pain to get hooked up to the auger that we didn't hook it up to there this year. So put the 95 on it. Mm, that's not too hard, but a little faster than I want to started crank the wheel so my boss pulled the combine out and I was bringing the uh, MX over there so that was nice of him so yeah that thing needs to be filled up it's like a quarter tank so you know it'll be a quick 15 minutes or something to get it to go. But yeah. So that's my hauling tractor for the wagons because I'll be doing that by myself tonight. Because landowners are gone and the guy and the husband was hauling for me before. But 
they moved back to their hometown, or back to where they're where they live in town, so that's the way up in Oatana. So yeah, but I'm not sure how far away, but so yeah. But yeah. A little bright. There's all dust on the windows, you can't see anything out of them. But otherwise it's going good. Get this thing over there. Well, everything's here now. So, boss is way over there, waiting for me so he can take me back to the other place to get combine and corn. There's that. So, it's about full. We didn't dump from the grain car, we just dumped it out of the combine. So, but yeah. Well, filling the combine up now. This thing gets so cold, and it's cold enough outside that it would be freezing to put my hand on that right now as it's going so even during the summer it gets cold so but then it actually feels nice otherwise yeah so the boss just took off to go back and keep combining over there I'm filling this up which will be a while because I have a quarter tank and yeah so this bin's got about three loads before it's filled so we got and I'm probably only gonna get, or not, four, six loads until it's full. And I only have, I'm only probably gonna do four tonight. So, well, yeah, I'll see if we have a leak on there. But, yeah, so, otherwise, that's about all that's going on right now. Try to get a little bit of beans in because I haven't been helping with that at all like I said so I tried to get some videos of that didn't get very many just a little bit <laughs> so but yeah okay that's about all I got for now well I was going down there and it kind of pushed my mirror back in front so let's go out and move that I get to the end here I'm just gonna call it and then I'll load in there and keep going so unloading on the go would be kind of nice and keep going but I don't know using the wagons everything keeps it interesting so because getting lined up good with them is kind of tricky sometimes so but, yeah we're only going 3.8 so, because they're having a little bit of trouble with that chain again, so. But, no big deal, we switched chains on there, so. 
But yeah, so we're just going a little bit slower. We got a little bit smaller gear on there, so it slows the auger and the hopper down a little bit. So I'm just going a little bit slower. And then the slower you go, less things that can break, or less things that can go wrong, I guess. But I don't know. Well, I had to do a little bit of a Yui to get this thing lined up right. But whatever. So it's all going good. Got a couple things to pull out of there. That way it feeds right. So we'll just do that. And then I'm gonna check moisture and yeah. But we'll just wait for this thing to finish some loading. So All the way down then. All right. Well, that thing hasn't really been working lately, so let's just go see if it's. Right. I know it's full, but I just want to see how full it actually is. I think that. Now nah, I can't see it. Hang on. Nah, it's not too full. It's working now for some reason. Before it wasn't working at all. But okay, it's going low. Just dump phone here because this was safe, 100% safe. Well, we got that one full. Going to this one now, so you can see it's starting to fill up there. But I'm surprised that meter was working because before it wasn't. So, but yeah, I'll have to move here a little bit soon here. But yeah. going good now so it's 7:45. so I plan to be out here till 9 so it should work perfect but yeah well I got the green ones full so we're down here with the red ones and now it's time to start going back and forth so that's about perfect actually so because then I can start down here or try to anyway and yeah so well, there's not too much left in there, but I am going to check moisture. Yeah. Well, it's all going pretty good now. So, and it turns out my phone can do better night pictures than, or the video can do better night pictures than the camera. Well, uh, alrighty. Well, we're calling it quits for tonight. So I got the wagons full. I got the red ones. The back ones part, it's it's mostly full. It's probably like 90% full or something. So I got the combine full and I'd have to keep pushing, keep going on headlands if I wanted to get any more in there. So I was just like, you know, I'm done. So yeah, but the boss called me a little bit ago and said just to wait till morning or wait till tomorrow to unload those. So I'm thinking I might skip part of school tomorrow and go until third period or something. So I can take a test and then be done for the day. But that way we can keep going. I can keep going corn, get those unloaded right away when I get there. And that'll probably take an hour. But I want to actually go to school tomorrow so I can get my AirPods. I forgot to. I forgot those today. So but I know where they're at. But yeah. So that'll be it for tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's Tuesday, it's like one o'clock or so. We got the grain cart unhooked from the 46, so now we're gonna use this to haul wagons. So, but yeah, so we're gonna switch things over to the 60 acres on the west farm because we're gonna strip that out for hunting, or for the hunters and everything. So we're trying to, we're gonna count by that as fast as we can. I'll be doing that by myself. So I'm just going down here to get the wagons that I filled last night. 
go on low. The two quick column over to um, column over over there in the alfalfa. So, but yeah, it's looking good now. We're about done with beans on that 50 acres over there. Then we got one more 50 acre field to get done, and then that will be it for beans. So. But yeah, so I got my AirPods back today. So uh, otherwise, we're not gonna be come, like I said, we're not gonna be combined down in this corner anymore. Corn until we get that other field stripped out. So, but I don't think we'll have it done time anyway. But I don't know, I guess. So, but we got quite a bit. I got quite a bit done yesterday here, so I'm happy about that. So here's the first wagon, the other wagons are down there. They're mostly full, these ones are over full. Because they're at the angle, so I didn't realize some a little bit went off the back, but let's just get them up the yard. A little bit of corn ain't gonna hurt nothing, so, but yeah. So let's get this back. So well, we're going now, got the wagons. This pulls a lot easier than the 85 did. So, which obviously, it's, it's a big, much bigger track than the 85. Probably almost double horsepower, so. But yeah. So it's going good now. It's pulling it super nice. You know they're back there, but it's pulling it awesome. So, so yeah, so I'm only in B2. Because I don't think I can get B3 fast enough to put them in. So, we're just multiing along. Got this all ready and everything, so let's get started. Now that took a while, but uh, I'm gonna go check the bin real quick. Going good now. Let's go put this in the alfalfa. On again. Good now, so those things are such a pain to get hooked up. You can you can't get those things to turn far enough. But no big deal because we're going now. So I just had to use my players to kind of move pry it over so I can get the pin in. But yeah, so all good now. It's done. So it's just the 50 acres down at the corner, and then that's it for beans. So I'm gonna get started on this. I just gotta get back up to the yard and get the combine down here. Get started on this. Get these. 
these headlamps taken off and then uh, down here I got the four wagons so and there's probably three wagon loads left two three wagon loads left in that bin before it's full so yeah but we'll get that done and nice then we can kind of focus on corn so I feel here it's looking nice so got the this side of headlands done so all fit in there somehow but now we're I'm heading back to the wagons to get unloaded and then we'll start going back and forth I'll have to take headlands off down there so yeah I'm going to be hauling by myself, so, because the boss just took a load of, down to Ruth then to get, to, uh, sell the beans, so, and he's with the semi, so I'm going to be hauling wagons when I fill up by myself, so I'm just going to fill them all full, so, but, yeah. And so it's just down and back, and this thing's basically full, so, this might fill up this wagon, should I guess so it won't take too long to fill these up and then uh, I don't I don't think it'll fill up this wagon not completely anyway so but yeah kind of nice having the alfalfa right here it makes things a lot easier so next field of beans is down there you can't see it but right at the corner over there so but yeah these ones so after I get this unloaded I gotta go down go get the pickup go down there and pick up my boss and because he, he's on the road right now pick him up and then I'm guessing we're gonna go to supper or something then I'll come back and keep going on this so people are going all over but yeah so moisture's still good and Rocking. Well, going now, so we're skipping that for, that's just 24 rolls there that we're skipping for, um, skipping for the hunters, so I'm going to do combine 24 rolls and I'll skip another 24, and then we'll combine them after the season's over, so, but yeah, that's what's going on right now, I'm just hoping I can make it. It, that window just got covered, so I should be able to. But, yeah. So. Well, wagons are full. Boss has come by in the last field of beans, so he should get quite a bit done tonight because it's about a half mile around, so it makes it a lot faster. And I know I'm combining a lot faster now because I have probably half mile long rounds, so makes it makes it a lot makes things go by faster because it's just down and back down and then I unload. those who are loaded those who are loaded that back when i got lucky on because i ran out as soon as it was like perfectly full probably a little too full but oh i should clear right there but yeah uh, these are these are about perfect i'd say so that's my child of a person I am so yeah let's start this thing up and get move on well that bin's full I did not want to risk trying to put another full one in there so we're gonna have to clean that one out a little bit then because we gotta get some stuff away from the walls and yeah so that's to take a while but hopefully there's a Shovel and the brush in here. Sweet. Awesome. Alright. Well, this is the stuff we gotta get out of here. Get some stuff away from the walls. Yeah. But then we gotta put those things back up too. There's about 4,000 bushes we can get in here. So. I'm going to go shut off the 46 because we're not going to need it for another hour. 
Well, I think I'll just leave it going. Because it won't take me long to get that cleaned out. So, that needs to cool off anyway. So, we're just going to get the loader here and go clean that out. So, because that won't take too long at all. You've got to be kidding me. Well, that plan's gone because that's bad. That one's battery's dead. Well, let's go get the other one. So, it's a good thing we got three different loaders that are the same thing. I just gotta go unhook the bail fork. But yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Whatever, there's three different buckets. So. Well, it's not a big deal, I guess. There, that looks better. Alrighty, let's get a move on. This stuff out, it goes up. Well, that took a while, but I switched bins. So that one's full. And then this one, we got, uh, we got a decent amount left in it. But this holds about 4,000 bushel. So let's get this thing moved around and keep on loading because I got three wagons after that because this first one's empty so I'm tired let's keep going well we got a lot done today so it's about nine o'clock so we got about 25 acres of beans left and then oh, eight loads left in that bin over there so yeah but otherwise that's it for today so thanks for watching